Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, and today I'm, I wanted to talk about the Mantis headset, the Bionic Mantis headset that I have now got on my Rift S. And this, I believe, will fit onto uh, my Quest as well. And I've also got a PlayStation VR, so bonus there. So when um, Oculus do bring out their own version, I could just switch these and put these on the um, PlayStation VR as well. Uh, now I just want to talk about the fitness of these things first, and how I managed to um, fit them on, because it wasn't as easy as it looked. Um, when you go to put them on, you have to turn the knob so so this goes all the way far out and then you put it on the thinnest part and then you can push it down all the way onto the thick part um, so it fits onto your ears properly depending on obviously how your ears are to, to your head. But because I couldn't push it all the way down because the, 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 the clip uh, was in the way. Uh, it's the clip for the cable. So I had to take off the clip as well to make it work properly. So this clip is, is a no-go. Um, and I've cable tied it to the Bionic um, headphone just here, so it kind of works almost the same. And then with the cable, I routed the cable. It comes with a Velcro strap anyway, so if you've bought this and you didn't get a Velcro strap with it, um, you should get one with it anyway. And you can Velcro that to the top. And then I've got more Velcro straps, and I Velcroed uh, it at the back here as well, just to, uh, you know, so it goes across the top and it goes neat around the sides. Um, and now this makes it a lot easier. Now, now I just need to pop this headset on and off I go. And it's uh, it's got, you know, you can change it. It goes up, down, back, forth, backwards. But this this one here pops out quite well, I reckon. So it's like, like the old CV1 did on the Rift. But this side sometimes doesn't. Well, it's doing it now, isn't it? Oh, no, you see it just popped. It's a bit temperamental. These are second hand though. I bought second hand ones from Amazon. They're 41 pounds. That's, I don't know, it's $41 or something. Um, so they're pretty cheap. And they actually, um, they actually look quite new. Came in the box and, uh, and I'm gonna show you actually what came in the box as well in a bit, because there's other stuff that come in the box. I actually don't know what any of that stuff is. I didn't have time to look. I just jammed these on as quickly as I possibly could and played as many games as I could to see what they sounded like. And that's what I'm going to get to next because if you haven't noticed that when people have reviewed these, say on Amazon, um, it's a mixed bag of reviews. You know, some people will say that it just doesn't have bass, it, it's just too tinny. Um, I found that they um, sound all right. You know, they sound kind of similar to the Samsung. Um, headphones the Samsung Odyssey headphones to me which are a kg isn't they I believe yeah got a G yeah on the side of the box I just see it yeah so they sound pretty damn good I mean they're real bassy in um, uh, Beat Saber because Beat Saber is the first game I tried because obviously bass is the most important thing and uh, well for a game like Beat Saber that is and the bass was really good and then I was thinking well that bass is damn good but is it going to drown out footsteps in contractors? So I went into contractors and listened out for the footsteps and I, I, I could hear the footsteps really easily. No problems whatsoever. Did a really good damn job of that as well. And then I, then I tried Lone Echo. The spatial awareness in it was pretty damn good as well. In Lone Echo, it was uh, you know pretty damn good in that too. Um, I, sp I also tried Space Pirate Trainer because the music's quite you know bassy and um, the whole thing is really kind of a bass kind of uh, with, a, with a few pew pews in it, but you know, uh, it all sounded brilliant. Um, then they, and then I went into something simple like Moss and um, it's, yeah, that, that even sounded good. So it's, it's definitely good enough. I mean, far much more better than the, um, what you get without it, you know, with the speakers that you get on the side into the headband. Um, the headband speakers are just too quiet and they have no bass, really, no bass whatsoever at all, the ones that come with it. So it makes a nice change to have these on there. 
because they actually do work quite well. Obviously, they're white, so they don't exactly match very well. I don't know. I think white and black goes kind of... You, know, you can get used to it, but you'd, I think I'd prefer it if it was all black. I've heard people actually spray painting them. Um, I'm not going to do that because, obviously, these aren't going to stay on here. Um, they'll probably end up back on the uh, PlayStation. So, uh, um because I'll probably get the um, official ones when they come out if I don't end up getting the index because I can't keep every single headset. So if the index blows this away, which I'm assuming resolution wise, we know it's gonna blow it away. Um, I probably won't need the official uh, headphones for this. I'm sure the audio is gonna be fantastic on the index as well. I'm just a bit worried about all the artifacts because a lot of people talk about the artifacts. See, one of the great things about this headset, not many people talk about, they talk about the, how uh, flimsy it is, and it is a little bit flimsy. Well, what makes it flimsy is this wobble, I think. No one really mentions the wobble, because I think this, this is solid. This fabric around the edges here is really good. This this doesn't feel too bad. It does, it's a bit plastic, but it's it's like it's just clipped on. Um, it's, you know, it it's, it's cheaper feeling, maybe, but it's a cheaper headset, so it makes sense. And this headset is meant to nose dive eventually to become even more cheaper as time goes on. And um, for for them to be able to do that, they've had to, you know, have to do this and all that. But I don't think it's going to break. I think it's going to be really, really solid. It feels really solid, and it doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. Um, you're going to hear horror stories, obviously, of people dropping them and whatnot, and probably breaking them somehow. Unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think this is a pretty damn good headset. And um, some people say this fabric doesn't feel as good as the uh, Quest fabric, but I think that um, I think that both fabrics are going to get changed at some point, aren't they? Really? I mean, if you don't end up getting a view, I think this fabric feels really nice. That this is the most comfortable headset I think I've ever felt, other than the PlayStation, which is also very comfortable. And I couldn't. I haven't really tried the PlayStation in ages. Uh, I have got it, but I haven't been on it in ages. Uh, I know Blood and Truth's out and I need to play it, but um, at the moment this has been really comfortable. You just put it on your head and it just feels uh, feels so comfortable. And then one thing I've noticed with this when I've been playing the Quest as well is that when I play something like Beat Saber on the Quest and I'm on it for an hour or something and I'm starting to pour with sweat with this kind of humidity and heat, um, the uh, bit around the edges here on the quest will get soaking wet with sweat because it's obviously a fabric it's not a, a leverette or something and obviously you can buy a leverette now from vr covers um and it gets really soaky and it stays quite soaky as well um but on this um most of the sweat comes onto the headband at the top leaving the uh, bit around the uh thingy a, a lot more drier so you can't really tell <laughs> how bad this is at picking up sweat because the whole band picks up the sweat. And it does a good job of picking up the sweat because not only does it pick up the sweat, but it soaks in the sweat because it's, and I, I don't know how, it's not really that thick, but it does soak in the sweat. And um, I basically, I can take this off after a real big sweat session on Beat Saber, put it back on again and go, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit wet around the headband. Um, that's a bit uncomfortable. and. and you know, I don't really like that too much. But then I can also do the exact same thing with the Quest and think, oh, I can't wear this. It's just, it's it's soaking wet. It's just absolutely soaking wet. So yeah, um, even though I've gone off because I'm supposed to be talking about the speakers, but I just wanted to talk about that. Um, yeah, I do think, because that's something I discovered yesterday about the headset. Anyway, so the, these headsets, this um, headphones, this Myonic Mantis headphones, which I've been calling the wrong name for a few days now. What have I been calling it? Myonix, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why. Myonix headphones, even though this is not a Myonix. Um, this is a, a Bionic Mantis headphones. Um, they do the trick, they do the trick. Um, they are definitely not too bad. I actually do think they're better than when it comes to VR, this is kind of what you wear, the kind of intermediate kind of headphones that you kind of want. You don't, you don't want to get some like, um, like my Alpha 
pros here like um, these are really good for competitive gameplay um, and they've dual chambered so you know it separates the base and that makes it great in games like uh, you know anything with large explosions in it so then the base you know that large explosion still gets separated from the footsteps so you know when someone's sneaking up on you or when you can hear someone on the other side of the wall etc it's fantastic Beat Saber not so much you know it's it's it doesn't sound as good as say these because this is just this is just drowning out bass it's it's quite nice you know it's the kind of bass that people like you know uh, i've never been a fan of bass <gasps> yeah shock horror i mean look people love bass I, I you know i play acoustic guitar and it's not the most bassiest thing in the world and uh i you know i'm not a huge fan because sometimes i find that a lot of people just don't get bass and bass can drown out the lows and the mids quite badly and um uh, you can just drown out everything and um i like a good medium with my bass and i think the hyper x does that but when you're actually playing some bassy songs bass is is important and it's and i think this delivers pretty well um where's my earbuds now, I've also got these uh, AKG's earbuds that I got with my Samson S8. And these are amazing, actually, for earbuds. And uh, they're quite bassy. They're very bassy. So playing Beat Saber in these is even more mental. But playing contractors with this, the footsteps are like nerfed by about 50%. It's, it's not as good. And other games where there's uh, narratives and... Uh, you, you, you know, there's like little tiny sounds and stuff that you, you just want to hear, listen to the environment and whatnot. This, this just doesn't going to cut it completely. It works, but it doesn't cut it completely. Where this, this does, you know, it's, it's, it's a good medium. Yeah. I, I actually think that's definitely, a, definitely a good, good VR headset. Now, the reason why some of the reviews might be a bit kind of negative about this is because... I didn't see anything, I mean, I haven't read the manual, but I can't see any 3D audio anywhere on these headsets. So if you had it on the PlayStation and you plugged it into the PlayStation, would that be a problem? Because I, I can't help thinking it would be because I remember that um, you got earbuds with the PlayStation VR and those earbuds, a lot of people say the sounds crap on them and it, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of bass in it and stuff but the 3d audio on them were amazing because they were built for that 3d audio and um, a lot of people kind of like said well can i use my playstation gold headset or 2.0 if you're british um and sony was kind of like well it doesn't support 3d audio and when i used them they sounded tingy and not very good at all um, with the playstation vr that is and then they bought out the Platinums, I think, which did have 3D, and I think they would sound pretty good. If these didn't support, if these don't support 3D, they might not actually work very well with the PlayStation VR. So I have to test them with the PlayStation VR and see if that's true. Um, but they might support 3D. It'd be a bit weird to make a um, headset for the PlayStation um, and not support 3D audio, wouldn't it? In my opinion, it would be, right? But that's just one idea of why some people might have a feeling of tingy. Obviously, manufacturing reasons, maybe. Maybe they just got a bad batch. Maybe, you know, some people, like I said, they, they expect bass through the roof. You know, they don't give a damn if they can't hear that little mouse squeaking in the corner. All they want to hear is the big thud of the flipping, you know, explosions and stuff. So... Um, I think the bass is pretty decent on this, but it's not like I said, it's not like the AKGs down there. It's um, you know, it's it's a good bass. It's not superhuman, smash your windows bass, um, blow out your eardrums bass. But it's uh, I don't know. I, anyway, I think they sound pretty damn decent for what they do. And uh, I'm just gonna go and grab the other stuff that's in the box. As it came second hand, this is how the box came anyway, so I'm not entirely sure if the box is supposed to have more to this than it uh, than this one has here. But I, I got a manual in there, which I never read. I, I'm going to open it now, just to see if I can see 3D audio anywhere. 
3D audio. Now it's just telling me how to install it right now. And most people don't realize this, but the cups can actually extend as well, which is what I'm going to uh, mention because I don't think I've seen this in other videos before. said it on the front if the front was still existing but I don't see it maybe it says on Amazon if you had a you know a proper look but I can't see anything this is 3d auto anyway inside the box get these two massive cups here and then you get these little clips so basically what you can do is you can make them even bigger sort of in a way you sort of take that part out you put these big massive cups on them then uh, then you kind of clip that in like that and then it's and then it will be over the ear instead of on the ear this uh, is their idea of uh, cancelling out noise around you I would assume um, seems to be the most logical reason for that. I don't want to cancel out the noise around me because I'm married and if I don't hear my wife, I'm a dead man. It's as simple as that. I, I'm a dead man. So this this is not, this is death for me. This is death, so I haven't put these on. Um, plus like, uh, I want it to be more low, I don't want it to be heavier and, and bulkier, you know, so I haven't really used them. Uh, also get a couple of uh, sort of like felt gaskets I'm assuming and that's basically what you get in the box and uh, I wouldn't buy well, I bought it for 41 pounds this and I think that's kind of where this kind of sits in price range for me I don't think I want to pay more than 41 pounds I don't I definitely don't want to pay uh, I think it's was it 60 pounds or something yeah so look around, you could probably get them cheaper. I, I think Amazon actually sell them brand new for £50. So I don't know what that translates in uh, dollars or euros or yen or ruble. But, you know, I I think £40, £41 that I got them for was a pretty decent price. Um, but it depends on how skint you are. I'm pretty damn skint. If I'm going to be honest, I've spent so much on VR headsets and games lately. It's, because uh, I don't get anything for free, obviously. But anyway, that's my review uh, on on that on the Bionic um, Mantis headphones. They're definitely 100% worth it if you don't want to keep switching out headsets. The earplugs, for instance, was quite easy to have. You just put it on and then you put your plugs in, and you're off you go. But now I just have to slip it on and just adjust it maybe a little bit, and I'm ready to go. And, and this is a all-round good headset. You know, I can play Moss and have fun. I can play Beat Saber, still hear some really good bass, and it sounds fun, you know. And it's a million dollars better. Should have I had to pay for it? Oh, well, I don't know, really. I mean, this is definitely the argument. I mean, the, the head, the sound that they're trying to do, I understand. Um, did they achieve it? No and generally that's the problem isn't it there is a way around it obviously to get your own like i've done but they should have had a more bassier they should have had a more richer full sound for every single type of vr game that there is possible and i can't help thinking actually and this is something i thought about earlier and this is kind of you know i kind of fantasize about building my own vr headset you know and um, this is kind of like one of my ideas was like they have a um, speaker there and a speaker there. Now, if they could make these speakers obviously a lot more bassier and a lot more richer and also have a higher volume because, you know, you have to have the volume nearly all the way, well, you have to have the volume all the way up. Um, and they do leak out real bad. Um, but they could have put one there, they could have put one on the band and then could have put one right at the back for spatial awareness. So if they could get the bass sorted out and the richness and the volume sorted out, then they could have actually put three on one side and three on the other side. Um, one at the front, one in the middle, one at the back. And then they would have got really good spatial awareness and then they would have still got that same um, feeling of not needing to have something resting in your ear or 
even hovering near here like the index will have because even though I know I, I reckon the index headset's gonna sound amazing, you're not you're not gonna forget they're there in a way. Uh, I can understand where Oculus was going with the sound on this, but not this <laughs> on the quest. On the quest it makes sense to me. On this it really didn't make sense to me. On this they they should have gone with their old, they should have just took the CV one. I mean, you take the best parts, right? And the CV one's best part was the audio. It was just amazing audio on the CV one. And they should have put that on there. There's there's no arguing about that. We really didn't, it's, it seems like a lot of people this year have like taken everybody's advice on VR and thought, nah, nah, we're just gonna do something completely different. Um, it's like, what do you like about the CV one? I love the headphones and the sound. Yeah, we, we're not going to do that. Um, you know, it, it's really stupid. It's like, what, what do you guys want more? Resolution. We want resolution because, you know, it's blurry from a distance. And, you know, we want resolution. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to hit, we're going to add more uh, FPS. We're, we're going to go and completely ruin the industry by, you know, jumping the gun or something, you know. Um, we think it's too heavy. We're going to make them heavier. We're going to make every head headset heavier this year. You know, it's just, I don't know. I think like there was a survey once saying, what did I want out of the next VI headset? And the three options were 4K, wireless, and field of view. And they only let you tick one. And I thought, well, I want all that. <laughs> I want all that in a headset. Um, okay, 4K, well, the reverb is 4K realistic. It's 2K per eye, but together it forms 4K, right? So the reverb's got the resolution. The um, index has got the sound, you know. Um, and what, Pimax has got the field of view, or Xtol, or Star, I think Star VR1 has got the best field of view. Um, and it seems like as a VR person, you, you've got something you can like about every single headset. I mean, I think with the Rift, I think the Rift S, I think one of the things people are going to like is the lack of artifacts, because I think that's when it, where it kind of really shines. And not, not many people talk about that enough, in my opinion. Everyone goes, the image is so sharp. Well, that's because, you know, there's a lot less God rays. They're virtually invisible. Um, there's a lot less screen door effect. There's a lot less uh, chromatic aberrations. There's a lot less Mora. There's, uh, you know, and everything else you can think of, distortions and uh, and the sweet spot's bigger. And uh, yeah, so, you, you know, you put all that together and you get a really good quality screen, which completely tells you that resolution is just pointless um, to a certain degree when you kind of add that. And, you know, if, if the reverb has got a really bad Mora, I can't help thinking, well, you're going to be you know, you, that's going to be distracting and it's going to take away from that resolution a little bit. And if the index has got bad God rays, which I don't know if you've noticed, but when it comes to God rays, people seem to be sidestepping them quite a lot uh, when it comes to the God rays on the index, which makes me think it's got God rays. And uh, I think somebody said to me the other day that um, when it comes to God rays, um, it's dependent on the game, but that depends also on how bad those God Rays are because you'll see it in every game if, well, I suppose there is some games that probably won't have it that bad. It's all about the clashes between the bright and the dark, isn't it really? I mean, the white on the back background kind of sort of thing. Um, but then, you know, I don't think anyone's spoke about the other artifacts and fingers crossed that they're a lot less. I mean, God raises one, but if you have more and chromatic aberrations and I can never say that word properly, by the way, um, and all the rest of the stuff, then uh, it all calculates into a more uh, unpleasant screen. But I am very confident the index is, is only going to have probably a few God raise issues here and there. So I'm looking forward to getting mine. So talking about getting mine, I've not heard anything from them, and um, I think I'm in wave flipping 5,699 or something. Um, 
I haven't got a clue. I mean, it says September on mine, so I'm I'm way far back. Uh, so yeah, the more I can say negatively about the index, might turn you guys to cancel your order so I can jump the queue. Yeah, I should probably do that. God rays, I've heard, is really bad, and they like literally reset your flipping brain to become uh, a feminist, an extreme feminist. Um, <laughs> Uh, they, they turn you into a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, don't get the index. <laughs> no, um, I'm sure it's going to be an amazing headset. Um, anyway, the Bionic Mantis that I keep sort of slipping away from is is definitely worth it. It is. Uh, I think it's worth it for probably even fifty pounds. Uh, especially if you got more than one headset as well, because if later on you do decide that you want to get the. Uh, official versions uh, that um, Oculus bring out and then you know you can still use these or you can still sell them as well because actually I've noticed that most of the second hand places are actually selling them for nearly price so you're not going to lose out actually so it's a win 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 well that might be because of the ref desk craze and the Oculus Quest craze right now so uh, yeah anyway thanks for watching the video if you liked it like if you disliked it dislike Sound like Tyrell there. Tyrell, good guy. Um, and please sub, I need the subs. Thank you for watching, bye bye.